ABC anchor David Muir is tracking the desperate search for children right now. David. Robin, good morning, and all I can say is this scene is simply stunning. As you know, we landed here in Oklahoma overnight. We drove across the state, and the power suddenly stopped. We knew we had arrived. Nothing but darkness and the outline of homes destroyed. And over my shoulder, this is the picture repeated for miles upon miles. All that's left are piles of brick and wood. And just beyond those homes there, that elementary school where so many children were lost, as we now learn, they were huddled with their teachers inside their classrooms, those walls beginning to collapse when the winds reached up to 200 miles per hour. Overnight, the frantic search for survivors, the young ones at Plaza Towers Elementary School, one of two schools decimated by that two mile wide twister. Looks like it just took the gymnasium right down to the center of it there. I mean, it just tore through it like a truck just run right to the center of it. The massive tornado touching down just as students were about to be released, their last week of school before summer vacation. Many of them hunkered down in closets and classrooms in bathrooms, clinging to hope and to one another. Well, I was on the ground and um, I just, um, my ears just um, went and I couldn't hear anything except cracking and kids screaming. Both Briarwood Elementary and Plaza Towers Elementary would take a direct and devastating hit. Briarwood wiped to its foundation Incredibly, every student was accounted for. We were told to get in our tornado precaution systems, but um, then they moved us to the boys and girls bathroom. But the scene playing out at Plaza Towers is much more devastating. A sole blackboard sticking out from the rubble. Police say at least seven children have died there. At least two dozen more are missing, feared trapped beneath the rubble. And the scene over there at the school is just catastrophic. It is just, I mean, there's chaos. I, I've never seen anything like it before. In the immediate aftermath of the twister, the chaos and confusion. This teacher, battered and bruised, carrying a child from the rubble. Students. And then the list, the uh, names of the children who'd pants. survived. <laughs> and perhaps the most nerve-wracking thing a parent can endure, racing to be reunited with a child you're not certain will be there. I'm just happy that uh, I was able to find my son um, and uh, my family's okay. At this checkpoint, we also found eight-year-old Josiah Parker. He escaped Briarwood Elementary unharmed, but could not find his parents. If my mom and dad are still alive, they're probably going to take me us to a hotel to our house if we're about. But this morning, we now know that Josiah's parents did survive the storm, a glimmer of hope, even as so much has been lost here in Moore. An eight-year-old reunited with his parents, and we need more of those stories here in Moore. I can tell you, I can hear a helicopter hovering overhead. And as we were here in the overnight hours, it was hovering right over that elementary school, shining lights on the school, George, because they needed the lights for the search efforts. But they were also concerned about the noise from the helicopter, that it might drown out any possible cries from the children still inside that school. But we've learned this morning that the search and rescue has now been turned to a recovery operation here just behind mm -hmm. us, George. Okay, David. Thanks very much.